Hi class, so I'm going to go in and look at these as a first time site visitor. I may have seen them, but I'm reviewing them as if I am landing here and interacting uh, with the site for the first time and checking the usability. All right. This site is really clear and easy to uh, navigate. It's got a great image, but still easy to read the text. Very good. All of the, um, hopefully these things are complete, the blog and the shop. Otherwise, um, they'll have to be hidden or removed for now. Super easy to add those back. Um, but I love this. Uh, filmmaker, journalist, I know exactly what's going on. Everyone lands here and can feel very comfortable about what they're they're looking for here. Um, nice job. I would probably bring this in a little bit. It could be, you know, that it's just responsive and my whole page. But I would probably make this not quite so wide. Um, I realize you might have to trim a little. Um, and if I encourage you to go this wide, I, I apologize, but just maybe not quite so wide. Nice, I can read the descriptions. Nice job. Okay, we have uh, at least one post, so that's good. And I recall now you do have some things that you sell. Okay. All right. You will have to have, uh, in order to sell, of course, you have to have the um, domain and so forth and have a secure socket license that they can provide you. Uh, do look down here. Make sure that this column uh, is wide enough so that the M is pulled up back onto that line. Otherwise, terrific. Let's look at the mobile. Okay. Um, not quite as friendly. So you'll want to check that out. I think maybe on your homepage, I'm look, thinking about it. I think that could be left aligned on your, uh, sorry, your desktop page, not your homepage. And usually the mobile version will be cut down just a little bit. and uh, take that gap out. Yeah, that image isn't showing. You want to, to adjust that. And you do it just like you would your desktop. You're going to have a menu over there. Um, close that gap. Maybe a little more spacing here, but um, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the header here is very deep. Get into the content a little quicker by taking that space out. Um, you might want to, it's all right to do this, it's, it's not a problem, but sometimes it's better to have the map underneath. Um, but that's okay, you're basically just telling them where you are in Tallahassee, so. Um, that's not too big a deal, but um, oftentimes they just want your contact. Now, you will need to have uh, at least a LinkedIn for your social media uh, professional account there. Right. Otherwise, terrific job. Nice, clean, showing your work. Well done. Okay. Uh, the first thing that catches my eye here is... Um, the banner isn't going all the way across. We have two columns here, but I, I would probably just take the image out and remove the background fill here on the text. Okay, um, you want to make sure you don't have that copy paste look. These can be removed. Uh, these are all placeholders, I do believe. And so I know these are not, you know, these are template. So that all has to come out. And only your work will be shown. And so again, you want to remove this background text. Um, 
the image back here will compete with your work. So let's have, uh, let's not have a photo behind your videos, all right? And a little more spacing here. I think once you get uh, it cleaned up, those two things, remove that image and um, correct that background fill, uh, you're going to be on your way there. Make sure that this is a Google Voice number that you're putting out there. Okay, I've read that. You want to remove that button because it's probably a Wix document. Okay. Okay. This is template. So that's the first thing you want to do is get rid of the template. And these are going to Wix, so you want to clean those up, remove this background. Uh, it's not the Twitter logo anymore, so uh, it's competing with this image. Um, we just want to have simple backgrounds. That's the main thing. So let's check out the mobile. Uh, same thing you want to, once you correct that font and get rid of the fill, the background, uh, you will um, probably remove that image and um, you know provide a little spacing there. This will come out. It's stock, as will all of this. And this Basically, this whole page will come out, mostly, except um, except for your copyright and your email. Correcting that. So, yeah, a little bit more time here. Uh, set aside several hours to, and, and that should be plenty. Um, it may not take that long um, to go ahead and make those corrections. I'm not going to spend much time going through all these um, until you get a chance to work on it. Okay. All right, Zach. Nice and clean. Good job. I can read the headers pretty well. There it overlaps a little, but I can still read it. You are linked up, very good. Okay. Okay, um, we are talking about you here, so instead of our story, it could be my story, or just story, or about me, um, or the inside scoop could be there too. Um, but probably whatever you have up here. So if you have about there, you could have about here. And this will need to be broken up a little bit. I did enjoy the story. I do have a lot of space here, so um, I don't mind that we have black and then this shape balancing it. But um, do break this up a little bit, especially on your mobile, where it almost always needs to be adjusted. So really great job so far. Clean. You've got your work. It's simple. Okay. And not sure you need that now. I'm not sure this is important anymore uh, when you get to this mobile section. The shape this is making is okay, but you'll always have to watch that. Otherwise, it definitely left a line paragraph text. Nice, simple backgrounds. Yeah, you're going to need to break that up into a few paragraphs and take some lines out to reduce a little bit of scrolling. And we're scrolling through this. It's okay for now. Um, all in all, great job. Clean. Uh, well done.
Okay. Nice. Let's uh, remove the underlining that comes with the template. And let's make that the same font size and font. Um, this is uh, a little out of place. We try not to put a photo uh, or anything like that for a logo. A logo needs to be an Illustrator file that is scalable, a scalable vector graph. Um, photos are pixelated and so they don't scale. Once they're enlarged, they just break up. Um, be mindful of this overlapping so it's clear. Okay, we want to get into your examples a little quicker. So I see this is something that you're showing. I'd almost rather see, if you were going to make a photo, I'd almost rather see that there, but it would still need to be a vector graphic. But well done here. Um, yeah. Nice work. Okay, left align. Let's delete that button and move this over a little bit so we don't have all this space over here. Congratulations on your uh, busy week. And good. Make sure that that's a Google number. Okay. Great. Great job. Let's check out the mobile. Um, yeah, it's just this. I think you'll want a logo up here and um, make that consistent. You know, take a look at that. And uh, this is working a little better on this page as far as the header up there. Uh, the Make sure you're using the same line spacing between your lines and the same font. It could be that it's just the color that it's on feels different. Um, it could be the gradation or the gradation. Double check all that. Nice. Gonna have that gone. Removed. Okay. Yeah. I feel like a logo or just your name would be up here. All right. Great job um, for everything that you're juggling. Uh, well done.